I wonder if this chair will fit in this suitcase. It'd be nice to have a chair to observe with. Hello, and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about different ways of traveling on a plane with a telescope, part three. This episode is part three of my three-part series on ways to travel on a plane with a telescope. In part one, I went over using a Pelican case to check your luggage, holding a single fork arm mount and the telescope and a duffel bag for the tripod. In part two, I went over putting a Mead ETX 90 millimeter telescope in a backpack and carrying it onto the plane. You can use that telescope as a tabletop telescope, or you could check a tripod in your checked luggage. And in this part three, I'm going to talk about the easiest way to travel on a plane with a telescope, but also the most expensive way. And that would be with the strain wave or harmonic drive mount and the telescope of your choice up to your mount's weight limit as your carry-on luggage. I recently bought this iOptron HAZ31 mount that according to iOptron can hold 31 pounds. It weighs eight pounds and it goes on to a lightweight carbon fiber tripod and it will easily fit into a regular suitcase that you can check or you could carry it on, but that's probably not going to work because most likely your telescope will be your carry-on luggage. In my case, I plan to take the HAZ31 strain wave mount in my checked luggage along with a tripod and that way I can carry on to the plane a big eight inch telescope. Found this bag that will just hold my 8 inch Mead Schmidt cast grain telescope. If I take the diagonal and the eyepiece out and remove the red dot finder. I haven't removed the red dot finder yet but I will in order to demonstrate that the whole thing will fit into the case with the finder, eyepiece, and diagonal in the end of the bag. The telescope with the diagonal, eyepiece, and red dot finder weighs 12 pounds but the case is small enough that it'll fit in the overhead bin of the plane. I'd prefer to have it where I can keep my eye on it, but as long as I watch what other people are putting into the overhead bin and make sure that they are not smashing my telescope, I think it'll be okay. I'll have to push my way onto the plane first though in order to get uh, spot just above my seat for my telescope and that means I won't be flying Southwest Airlines as I'll need a good seat assignment. Confession, I have premier status with United and I can board in group one and snare a good spot in the overhead bin for my telescope and then I can guard it from the marauding public. So with this method I can check one bag holding my strain wave mount and the tripod plus my clothes and in my carry-on I'll have my 8 inch telescope, my finder, diagonal, and eyepieces. And how many eyepieces should I take? <laughs> should I take all of these eyepieces? <laughs> of course, although this method allows me to take the largest aperture telescope, it has several downsides. First of all, 
This mount is very expensive. This particular model, the HAZ31, costs $2,048, and you have to buy the tripod separately, which costs $348. So it's the most expensive of the three ways I've discussed for traveling on a plane with the telescope. Secondly, since my telescope takes up the entire carry-on bag, I'll need a second carry-on bag to transport my camera because I'm not going anywhere without my camera <laughs> and a book to read on the plane and maybe even my, my lunch. So that's quite a lot of gear to carry on to the plane and to keep an eye on. Now I don't have to take a big inch telescope. I could take a six inch Maxitol uh, mentioned in part one or I could take a 90 millimeter refractor but for the biggest aperture of the gear I own that will fit on a plane, taking the 8-inch McCasagrain with another carry-on for my camera, book, and lunch would be the best way to get the biggest aperture um, while traveling on a plane. The other concern is powering the strain wave mount. The single fork mount that my Orion Maxitol Casagrain is attached to is powered with eight to a batteries that can be found anywhere. But the strain wave mount is powered by an external lithium ion battery. According to the official TSA website, you cannot check a lithium ion battery, but with the approval, passengers may carry up to two spare large lithium ion batteries, 101 to 160 watt hours. This size covers some large batteries used in professional audiovisual equipment and there is a limit of two spare batteries per person for the larger lithium ion batteries described above 101 to 160 watt hours per battery so let's call the airline united and make sure they'll allow it otherwise this method is not going to work because this strain wave mount cannot be powered with regular alkaline batteries Hi, I'm scheduled to fly to on a and I would like to get permission to carry on a lithium ion battery of 155 watt hours. How do I do that? No, I know you can only take up to 100 watt hours, but according to the TSA official website, you can take up to 160 watt hours with permission from the airline. So I'm calling to get permission from you to do that. Um, it's about maybe six inches by two inches. It's um, for powering my telescope mount. I'm going to a dark sky site and I'm taking my telescope and I need a way to power it. The flight number. The flight number is 1444 on April 24. Oh, great. Okay, so can you send me some kind of confirmation? Or can you email me? You're not allowed to email? Well, I don't think you're lying, but I would like some kind of confirmation. I don't want my battery confiscated at the TSA check-in. Okay, I believe you You documented it, but there's no letter or something you can send saying I have permission? Okay. All right, well, thank you for your help. Oh, no, no I don't need anything else. Thank you. Bye-bye. I hope they don't confiscate my battery. I'll be really mad. Okay. So that means I also have to cram a lithium ion battery of no more than 155 watt hours into my carry-on, which at this point is getting very heavy. It now holds a 12 pound telescope and a separate bag has my camera, my book, and possibly my lunch, and now also a battery. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. You cannot check the battery though. They'll remove it from your suitcase. I mean, you could try to sneak it on and hope for the best, but it'd be terrible to arrive at your final destination with no way to power your mount that you just lugged halfway across the world, possibly. So I'll just manage all that stuff I'm taking as my carry-on on board the plane.
In my example, I'll be traveling with my iOptron HAZ31 mount, but there are many choices of strain wave or harmonic drive mounts to choose from. iOptron alone carries several models. The cheapest one I saw on their website was the HEM15 at $1,398 plus the tripod. Then there's the Pegasus Astro at $2,800 the Rainbow Astro at 3,800, and ZWO has the AM3 and the AM5, uh, 1,500 to 2,200 respectively, to name a few. But the one that I'll be taking is an Altaz mount made by Optron, the HAZ31. Now I could just take this lightweight Burlback manual mount and attach it to a tripod. It has a standard 3.8 thread that will fit the top of any standard camera tripod. The Burlbach and the tripod will both fit easily into a check bag. But in order to have a go-to capability with my HAZ31, I would need an external power source. So another way to travel on a plane with a telescope would be to take a sturdy tripod, the Burlbach mount, and check both in your suitcase. And then take the telescope onto the plane in your carry-on luggage. But if you want go-to capability, you'll need to get permission from the airline if your mount cannot be operated with alkaline batteries. So that's actually four ways to travel by plane with a telescope. Number one, you can take a single fork arm mount with a small Maxitol Cassegrain or one of those single fork arm Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes made by Celestron. Number two, a Mead ETX telescope in your backpack as a carry-on. Number three, a strain wave mount or a harmonic drive mount with a small carbon fiber tripod in your check luggage and your telescope of your choice in your carry-on luggage. And in my case, that will be my eight inch Mead Schmidt cast grain telescope in my carry-on with permission from the airline to bring a lithium ion battery as well. And this little Orion lithium ion is compact and it's 155 watt hours. And number four, a camera tripod with the Burlbach in your check luggage and your telescope up to eight kilograms or 17 pounds in your carry-on luggage. And those are the ways that I know of to travel by plane with a telescope. What about you? How do you take your telescope when you're traveling by plane? That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'll see you soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.